Hello. Hello, it's Hello. me, Mango, and... Oh, I'm Xylus. <laughs> oh, yeah. The amazing Xylus is joining me. Everybody today, Merry Jinglemas. Welcome back to the Jingo... J <laughs> the Jingle Jam. If you don't know, Mango tried to prepare for this stream, and I did not let her. <laughs> no, he didn't. And I'm so ready now. Um, so, first game of the day. Are you all excited? We're doing hard games. Hard games means we're tough. We're big. We're so good at games. Tell us we're good at games. Don't tell us we're bad at games. Don't tell us we're shit at games. We're great at games, aren't we? Maybe you. I'm great at games. I okay. got old and slow and everyone beats me in games now. How <laughs> perfect. This is perfect. Because our idea is that we and you help us set challenges. <sighs> and we then try and complete those challenges. And we see who is the best based on what you think. So we'll start with a little game called Impaler. Impaler is a actress. Eh, help me. I've not streamed in so long. <laughs> I think my mom just donated. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I see. A uh, hundred pound from Daltos's mom. <laughs> thank you for all you do. Thanks, mom. <laughs> thank you, Daltos's mom. We love you so much. Anyways. Um, um. It's an action roguelike -like arena shooter. Um, and just so you know, it does have flashing images, just in case that is a problem to anyone. The fuck? I like to picture all these as people were mean to me in high school. Die, teacher. No, I don't think that is a good idea. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, don't do that. I forgot where I'm from. Boom. <laughs> Fuck. Boom. Oh, my God. Thank you for all the good times, Yogg's cast. And especially the blebs. They mean so much, Ari Admire. I was spiking the girls. That's maybe why mm, they know. I could do it. Uh, well, I'm ready to spike. Don't spike the girls on stream. No. <laughs> oh my god, that sounded much worse than I thought. Well, yeah, because it sounds like sex. No, 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 it sounds like, like... Oh, like, I get what really you're saying. Bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. See, what people in chat don't understand is that we'll say things off the top of our head, and we don't mean anything bad by it. We're just trying oh to be creative god. and funny, and oh then afterwards you feel like a complete asshole, like you do right now. And I just felt like that way before it. with you know the what? shooting... Just don't Spike anyone in general. In general. How about that? If you do How that, you, you are going to hell. No, as somebody who has unfortunately been spiked oh, too many times. Too Ow. many times? Did yeah, you many say? times. <laughs> How often do you not take care of your drink? Um, that's not what it was. Well, one person got me with a little needle one time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you in prison? What the fuck? <laughs> So don't do it. I don't like don't. it. I don't condone it. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I said it. Oh, Mango. And I, I think on that here. note, We're I want to break. run away. Actually, let's read out these last few donations before we go on break. And then you guys donate more afterwards. Because if you don't, I'll be sad. Okay. Okay. Ready? All right. So we... Stand, no, stop. Okay. I'm ready. Before See, I can do... I can do a we million embarrassing things, but I don't want to dance in front of people. <laughs> Thank you, you Big Bad Santa. Santa. <laughs> Not even close. Uh, Bring back the music. Uh, um, what even was that? So it's a dance. <laughs> it's a TikTok. And it's Wednesday Adams, basically from the Adams family. I thought that was really cool. That girl looked up like all old goth dances and incorporated it. That was so cool. Yeah, she did. It was very cool. Okay. Oh, Ready? Boop, boop. You ready? Yeah. Grussy. Grussy. You were not ready. I almost fucked. Yeah, I almost fucked that up. <laughs> you almost fucked the Grussy, Daltos. <laughs> almost. Oh, my God. God Where? Grussy. Where did you find them? Uh, oh, you did not. <laughs> you did not. Oh, double kill, double kill. You're bad. All right, okay. Klim. Klim. Okay, we have to do this, all right? If we fuck up here. Dim. 
Okay. Wait, wait. Okay. Ready? Bim. Oh, you were not. That was you. That was you again. I, I like actually fucked, hate you. I literally fucked it up again. <laughs> I literally fucked it up again. I literally fucked it up again. <laughs> I literally forgot to hit Z again. <laughs> I, I should be Z. Go back. I'm dead. You be the arrows. <laughs> I'm Z now. I'm Z. I can't believe I keep fucking that up. I'm Z. Nice. Just wait. Ready? Clem! 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 How do we get up there? I don't know. I think that's later in the level. We're going to wrap back. Clem! Okay. <laughs> Why is there no bonfire? That's a bonfire! <gasps> <gasps> yes! Nice. Saltos, I need a hook. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. He up again. <laughs> Your bones can't reach me now, poor boy. <laughs> oh oh shit. shit! He got jumping bones! This is the hardest get boss it, ever! Oh. Uh. Clem! Ah, I was trying to heal! You I didn't have heels left. You I were didn't sans No, I had no heels. You literally just Are you hit fucking me in there. kidding me? You're Are you fucking dickhead. kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> that was all you. <laughs> literally. Are you pressing buttons over there? No! Why did you heal? <laughs> Why did you heal? Get me out of here. You hit you have to get out of there! You're the chopper! <laughs> We're so dead to this boy. Why are you jumping? Why are you jumping? <laughs> Nine my life. Maybe it is. Okay, right, stop. No, you don't get to say a word No, here. I do! We get to choose cards together. Oh, uh, we do? You can't not pass up on pressure points. It's a pressure points deck now. We love pressure points, even though that has no synergy with our deck. We're gonna get more pressure points. I don't care where you- where Don't hurt me! Ah! I'm gonna eat a kebab after this. That just made me think that I want to eat a kebab. <laughs> I love, yeah. Okay. I don't know what it's doing. Uh, did we take a devotion earlier? Do we? Let's do a fear no evil so we can go back and get your freaking <laughs> hands off the mouse. Your turn. <gasps> oh, okay. Question: Mini boss or no boss? Like just normal. I can't say shit. You can. No, I can't. I'm gonna die if I take the mini boss. There's absolutely not enough heals. And she takes the mini bar. <laughs> I'm gonna die if I take. <laughs> oh, we've killed them. Well, the back killed two. Killed a few of them, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, we've killed them. We've killed them. We've killed them! Yay! I wanted more than one. <laughs> Wait, what do you want to do? Like this. <laughs> Thank you. 100 Gelders. You get to pick the card since you killed Whoa! them. Oh, okay. He's all suck shit, An but... An expunger. Don't get the expunger. Don't get the expunger. Don't get the fucking expunger. I... <laughs> it's not done, Daltos. Yeah, That's what I tried to do! We're gonna dance <laughs> off! It's like, after this song, please wrap up. I tried to leave. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> you ready? I'm done. Oh my god, okay. gentlemen and welcome to a relaxing i was gonna say morning stream but it's actually the afternoon and i am joined by the majestic potato mcwhiskey there you go look at him he's lovely hi guys nice to see you all <laughs> can you do your special line please hey buddies potato mcwhiskey here oh it's so good i'll do mine as well hello there ladies and gentlemen <laughs> oh god <laughs> welcome to the cringe no um true 
we have a, ourselves a special stream. Uh, originally, we weren't going to be allowed to do a stream together. They were like, no, you're too too sexually magnetic and it would be too powerful to observe. And then both of us dropped like a 10K donation each. And then they were like, oh, yeah, Jingle Jam's pay to win. Have as many stream <laughs> slots as you want. So Yeah, they actually had to modify the room for both of us to be in here at That's the same right. time. Uh, that was part of the why we donated is to make up for that extra cost. You there's, know? there's actually a giant barrier here and Daft's here with like a <laughs> cattle prod to stop us from being able to touch. Because um, if we do, we could cause an explosion. Um, it's very powerful. Well, you can, you can. I can, I can, yes. Operation... Bedtime enforcement. <laughs> <laughs> Operation bedtime enforcement. Uh, I mean, I guess we are sending the insurgents to bed. Uh, <laughs> very permanent bedtime. <laughs> I think I also spelled that wrong entirely, but that's fine. That's all right. Um, welcome to Saffron Fields. The invasion is over and combat forces have been withdrawn. Despite initial hopes of change, the region is still unstable and the population feels neglected. Operation Bedtime Enforce Me <laughs> stabilize <laughs> the region. <laughs> you've, uh, you have fully, you have full responsibility for all civilian and military matters. That's right, in this region. So we need to set up our queue in HQ in one of these regions. Um, they, this will be the central civilian and military headquarters for Operation Bedtime Enforce Me. So, yes, be careful. Uh, like, th if we put it in the center of the map, it makes it easier for us to get to the outer regions. But at the same time, the infrastructure is not as good because, like, as you can see, there's literally a dirt road there. Right. Um, Whereas yes. on the south side of the map, there's that nice highway. There is. There's this that, is really actually, nice that highway city here. you just clicked on is like seems like a good starting point. Or even Alpha that Victor. crossroad to the right of it. One of those two. Bravo Uniform could be quite a good region it's um it's rural and it has that highway it's, we don't have any stats really for this region yet but that highway makes it very easy to move around so yes i like that crossroad that feels like a nice central yeah we'll have a hard time getting over the bridges but you know okay right commander we're in bam and that's given us a region on our nearby nearby areas so we can see how many people are living there um, how many of them are hostile to us, how many of them are neutral, and how many are loyal, like how many supporters we have. We I see. Don't so we have, have to win many. over the local population. That is one of the ways we can win, yes. If like the region is overwhelmingly in love with us, then we've done our mission and no one wants to be an insurgent. However, alternatively, you could make everyone in the region terrified of you, but you could just subjugate them very aggressively. That's not going to make foreign powers like you as much, but you don't necessarily need the aid of the USA. Right, so we can go for like a reign of terror. To well, yes. instinctively, I like to like build utopias. Now, if it all goes wrong, we'll bring out the boots. Okay. For now, let's try to be nice and be the good, the good, good. leaders. Good, good. So that, that would be the good thing to go. Okay, right, we'll go for electricity. Because the electricity affects all zones, which is like a universal oh good. God, um, our reputation is actually just shooting down. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> literally, as down the down. bomber plane comes <laughs> in. Oh, oh, oh God. Um, oh, dear. So um, we, we can do some good thing here. We can find and destroy insurgent camps, which is what we're going to do. God damn it, they're escaping. Oh, um, my God, there's so much happening. Yeah, throw the, throw the national troops there and like do a little bit of yeah, a... Yeah, we're going we're gonna to capture them as they escape. Hopefully, hopefully. Oh, I see. So we're cutting them off. Yeah, if we can cut them off. Um, it's not looking good. <laughs> Potatoes. No, I think good. This, I think this is what they call a death spiral. <laughs> uh, it's slightly death spirally, but it's okay. Can um, we stop the bombing? Stop bombing! Oh no! Coalition <laughs> is being pressured to send their soldiers home. Soon you will have to choose whether to sacrifice reputation to extend their deployment. <laughs> oh no! So I love how you're saying, "Can we stop the bombings?" <laughs> <laughs> you can't no. unbomb a civilian potato. <laughs> okay, so I see. So I've seen <laughs> yeah, how you it can go so wrong. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Concern over lack of health care. Bedtime enforce me support level is falling in Alpha Yankee because it isn't addressing local civilian needs. Oh no! Oh dear! Um, oh dear! Actually, I'm at a complete see. I'm at a complete loss of what to do. Going just on go all in. We have to all in. get a win. Get those troops in. Who cares how many civilians have to die? 
<laughs> I care. I regret my decision. <laughs> oh, God. Um, uh, let's get rapid air rotation. Decrease those airstrike No, cooldowns. that's more... Bo- yeah, okay, we have that. to, Potato. We've got to win. We've got to win the war. Yes, stable region. <laughs> oh, will that now give us reputation? Yes, we get plus three reputation from that. Oh, I oh, see. There okay. We there we go. It's still going down so fast. Dirt roads too have just been improved by charities. In comes the bomber plane. Oh, what's this? Coalition's... Uh, tour duty is over. You have two, but you need seven reputation. We have to send them home. Oh, okay, send them home. Damn it. Oh, gosh. Ooh, okay, then what have we got here? That is painful. Um, 3% chance that the cover-up fails? <laughs> that's like, I'm, that's <laughs> like the perfect poker hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Soon More soldiers needed to fight insurgency. <laughs> You're telling oh, me. Oh, no. Um, so one of the issues we have is the insurgents have taken over the... We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. We're very dead. But I feel like I learned a lot. I'm ready to go again. Yeah, good. I'm ready to go again. Let's get some region stats. Uh, this is the money. This is the corruption. This is the population. Uh, we did gain some supporters over time. Oh, so it wasn't a total failure. We achieved wasn't. limited aim. <laughs> so another way you can win is you can negotiate peace with the insurgents. Oh. We made no progress on that. No, because we basically spent the entire time bombing them. Which, hindsight... twenty. Here's our reputation. <laughs> I, think, I actually think that moment there is when we implemented bombing. I wonder where the civilian bombing run started. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so I've learned that that's not the best way. Um, oh, that's right, we um, have a lot of troops so around we're winning, us. We're winning this region, and then because of that, yeah, we're going to have a huge bonus here. What's up with you? <sighs> This is why I wanted to do two extensions. We'll do one more short. We're attacking the base. We need just a little bit more time. Just, I'm just sorry, uh, Mr. Supporting. Obama. I just need a bit more time. <laughs> Please, that's the end of word. But we Ooh, have another garrison. Yes, another garrison would be amazing. It's actually really good. And it's in a perfect spot it's as well. Fantastic. But our reputation is doing amazing because we've won the hearts and minds of we've, everyone on the left side of the map. Yeah, and we can improve them even more with the, like... Infrastructure, I don't know, what something probably like dirt roads is quite cheap or yes. normal roads actually because they cover most of the map. Let's go yes, for that. that would be perfect. All right, bam. And then we can send in the troops And now they're region. all kind of supporting and helping each other. Yep. And we got the drone nearby. I wonder if I can drift boat, buff drone boy even more. Speed up. Okay. Military. Okay, I can't buff drone, but... Uh, I, th- I think if, we, if only we had like a little bit more time. I don't think there's a huge amount. There's not more do, time, yes, sadly. unfortunately, sadly. But I'm hoping that we clear that base at least. Yeah, we destroyed insurgents destroyed in Foxtrot Juliet. So we've, amazing. We've genuinely wiped the insurgents off of the map um, in terms of like their combat capabilities, and they no longer have a region to retreat into, which is huge in this case because basically not having an area to retreat to means that they die and they can't escape, and they just lose an entire squad of troops. So because they're trying to retreat into this region, but we're here, we cut off the retreat, and they die. Right, it's like the pursuit phase of a battle in medieval times. Yeah. Catch them on the retreat. Um, I think we're on like a, yep, we're on a, a break now. spiral. So, we, yeah, we're, we're doing great. This game. We're going to win this game now. We, f- the locals love us. Region stability is high. The insurgents have been pushed out. Our local forces have crushed it. And yes, we're going to go to break now and come back with a different game. Because that guys. was it. I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Uh, this is a, two million. What? Oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> That's not accurate. <laughs> wow. Uh, it's nice to know that that graphic works uh, in four days' time when we hit it. Um, two million insurgents foiled. Right. See you guys later. Bye. Bye bye. Military. Could I make a suggestion? Yes. Uh, it might be good to have, like, an empire box. No. Uh, <laughs> put it in the gubbins box. <laughs> <laughs> so, let me see here. So, we have... Uh, I'll just put everything in the gubbins box for now. I like and how we have pause. island as an option. That's fun. Love. So, here we go. We have our box. Oh, well, you can collapse the boxes, too, which Ooh, is kind of very fun. very fun. Can you just turn off the music? Because it's getting to me. <laughs> it's, uh, I think it's at the top of the screen. Uh, there we go. Crank that down. Crank that yes. down. It got a bit louder when we got into the game. It so got louder. Going. I And both Potato and I, um, you might not know, hate playing games of music. Uh, when we play Civ, we just turn it off. Everyone else is like, oh, I'm listening to watching Matilda again. I'm like, I don't even know what that song is. I have waltzed the Matilda in my dreams too many times. Done it once. Don't need to do it again. 
Um, so let's start making decisions. What text would you like to start to introduce? Um, I think this is this is Britain, and I feel like we need to start developing society. And I think um, so. These top ones are the ones we can do. So foraging, fishing, and hunting. That's correct. You can do any of those three. Okay. I feel um, like logically hunting makes the most sense because we have a coastline. So sorry, yeah. not hunting. I mean fishing. Well, Fuck. I've already messed up here, but we could we could we could still do fishing. We yeah, could fishing as well. Fishing, I think, is important. So these probably belong in food production. They do, yes. They and do. what I will say to you here is that you don't just make the note; you can choose how much you invest into it. Oh. So um, now, the more you hunt, obviously, the more you deplete your fauna. Yes. Uh, but the more fauna there are, the more they deplete the flora. I tend to find like coastline is kind of interesting in that. You can't really, you can't run, you can't out, of really run out of coast. Yeah. So how do you feel about investing? Just crank that fishing crank boat up to maximum. I don't way. see any downsides to overfishing. Perfect. Science hasn't been invented yet. Um, so we could see now, uh, if I zoom in here and kind of move I it. I see that node is like increasing in its intensity. It's, it's like building up over time. Using it in. And what we can do as well, actually, if I come over here to population wow, and I click that. this little add to watch list and I open this up, we can see our population graph oh, going up. Look at the Oh, I in. love watching graph go up. I write line goes oh, up. It's like line the goes up. Thing. Oh, and baby production is also good. Oh, sorry. I meant to do food because food's yeah. probably a good one to track. Yes, that we, yes, we want to know when we have food. That is good. Um, I would quite like, I guess, from here, if we... I'd, I'd want to get harbours, but what would we need to unlock harbours? So we need to get a settlement. And okay, settlement, I believe, would require agriculture. I, we don't need that, do we? We don't need stability, so what's the point? Exactly. Um, like, what, stability hasn't negatively affected us in any way, shape, or form. It's like every now and again, we get like a small little trouble, L and then yeah. everything is fine. The troubles happen. We love the troubles. They're great <laughs> for... <laughs> don't give <laughs> that. Uh, oh, <laughs> We do not love. We do not love the trap. <laughs> we do not. Oh, oh gosh. Uh, let's um, get some religious monuments, maybe. Yes, yeah, so that'll go in the Gubbins box. And this will actually add um, new stuff. How complex would you like our religious stuff to be? We can make temples, temples. cathedrals. Amazing. To pyramids. Uh, no, pyramids are way too expensive. Screw pyramids. But we have so much money. Fine, build the pyramids. More culture, more pyramids. Oh, is that boosting the artisans, is it? Yes, that's increasing oh, culture. our culture. Culture which increases our national cohesion. <clears throat> oh, which is increasing our stability a bit. Oh. Maybe. Maybe, I don't know, actually. Quickly. Yes. And we have another hour of this to go, but we will be switching to a new game. That's right. Um, which is very similar to this, actually. Is it? Well, I suppose from a relative strategic society building perspective right because yes. i only i only played it when it first released right this will be fun then yes it'll be very this will be very fun see all the changes that have been made but i think that's us for this game mm, yes it, it is us goodbye bye 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 <laughs> love the dongs just like bong Dong. society is failing <laughs> bong <laughs> rebellion oh, yeah, bong. i know it's still alive <laughs> hi guys don't worry we'll be gone in just a few minutes time if we stop um, moving maybe they think the stream is frozen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're, we're back now. We're back now. It's fine. Um, it's it's not scuffed. It's not scuffed. Um, no. It's fine. I was saying we've raised a lot of money. Um, it's it's very complicated at the moment in the stream room, um, which of course you guys can't understand because after this stream is Dr. Simon's University Challenge stream, which is, of course, one of the biggest streams of the year. After the poker night, this is probably the second most complicated to organize. Probably more complicated than poker night. Sorry that my glasses are crooked, Zoof. Fuck you. <laughs> um, probably more complicated than poker night. Uh, there is, like, so much chaos going over on in there. They've, like, set up this huge set just right in the middle of the offices, and they have to take it down again tonight as well. They've, like, put it up yesterday and and today, and then they're taking it down. It's wild, absolutely wild. So all the, like, studio staff are, like, having to set up all of the cameras. It's, yeah, it's absolutely wonderful. It's going to be good. It's an insane amount of work that they're putting in out there. Yeah, it's whereas we, we get to sit here and play video games, and look, the money bar go up. Oh, <laughs> And the money bar hit a new goal. Money bar hit a new goal, yes. Uh, we were saying, well done, guys. Uh, we've raised £1,950,000 for charity. Which is an insane amount of money. It's an insane amount of money. Around, everyone out there should be proud. It's crazy how, like, in the last two hours of streaming, we've raised, like, forty grand or something by playing... Um, 
potato bomb civilian simulators <laughs> and intern <laughs> relocation projects. <laughs> it's been quite good. Two million by the end of the day. Um, so you're probably going to hit two million right as the university challenge starts. Oh, which might it's, actually put everyone in an incredibly hyped mood. That would be thick. Yeah, I think that's probably what we're on track for. There's like a few driving factors in this, but I think that's vaguely where we're heading to. Yes. Yeah. Should be good fun. Should be good fun. But yeah, I mean, unless you want to hit it before University yeah. Challenge and then piss the heck out of Simon for like planning this beautiful charity event. And then it's just like the big celebratory, celebratory video of like us hitting two million is just Potato and I sat at a desk rather than like <laughs> all of the yogs losing their mind. <laughs> I, would, I would quite like to be in both the one and two million celebration. So actually get those donos in. Yeah, get me. those donos in. Now. Yeah, you've got another 10 grand lying around, right, Potato? <laughs> well, I, maybe under the couch i'll have to go check out there yeah that's where it, i it, I thought it was weird when you arrived on the office in the first day with that briefcase just full of full of paper money that's wild yeah i had to you know well i had to pay off lewis obviously that's true yeah because so, i'm not actually a yog i'm a, I'm a guest so you know there's a tax when you come you, I mean, you're not a yog thing. but you are a yog like yes. that's just how it is the yogs <laughs> it, sure you can join the yogs cast or whatever but realistically you're a yog if you rock up and you play video games with us He's a yog, guys. Yes. Um, he's my friend as well. The, the real part of being a yog is what's in your heart. It is. And that's why everyone out there you could be is a, yog a wonderful too. person. And I've done so well to raise all this money. The universe is happy, Jingle Gem, everyone. Hope everyone's having a lovely time. I was having a lovely time. Um, until? Until. The, clond the clondle happened. The, the clondling. Clond the clondling happened. Actually, I was walking along and then it's, there was clondle on the floor and I just, <laughs> it's just, it's just it's tripped so on it and then I clondled everywhere. Slipping on clondle. So much clondle. Uh, <laughs> so they're ripping the cameras away. <laughs> <laughs> they're taking us off the air. No. <laughs> we clondled too hard. <laughs> We've clondled too hard on air. Oh, um, gosh. I mean, this next stream better be good considering the amount of cameras they've ripped out of the studio for. Yeah, true. <laughs> So while you were reading donations, mm -hmm. I took some executive actions. I saw them, yes. And I, I built them. a little bit of a city district mm -hmm. just to use up our food. And I also built a warehouse. Oh, it looks like some little thing has landed. Oh. And so now we can store more resources. It, it uses like a little bit of our stuff. But that warehouse is good because I think, if I remember correctly, it said we could mine gold as a result. Give <gasps> jobs. I'm noticing there's a, flash, a few flashing things in the top left, Potato. I've been trying to ignore them. You have. You should probably come to terms with them. <laughs> <laughs> let's click on research licenses, Potato. Sure thing. So this is oh, gonna... let's click on first. <laughs> 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 so there's, I think there's two different types of licenses. There's basic tech licenses, which will give us the ability to build new buildings. And then there's research licenses, which will change what we can do with those buildings. Okay. Uh, so, for example, if we come over here, we have automation, which is an upgrade for the... Can you go away, <laughs> budget future Einstein? Um, uh, so, so, for example, automation here. We can upgrade the industrial farm, mm -hmm. which will leach and destroy the earth faster, but we get more food. Yes, it does cost us slightly more money, though. It does cost us slightly more money, but it means we have to have less farms when we eventually start using... Actually, is that a decrease of the money spent? I oh, know, I feel like that would be... An I think that's the upgrade. upgrade. It allows the immediate blasting... Of rocks and stuff. Meiji bomb, you want, yeah? Yep. I'll bomb this one. Okay. Because that'll blow up all the, wait, no, 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 this one. You're right, you're right, you're right. Boom. Boom. Get a nice zoom in on this. Can we I? Get, get that little plane coming over, oh. and then it just like drops off a little boom, and there we go. Bow. Boom. Beautiful. That absolutely was not the tile that I Beautiful. wanted to do and that to. Now we can add another hungry mouth into our city. Uh, right, we shall do that. More cities? More cities. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't think we're getting this whole coastal thing. <laughs> it is not possible on the coastline. Oh, oh. I, Now it is, I it's think. It's now a desert. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah. More people More. get in. We can't buy enough food for them, but there is plenty of housing. I beg your pardon, I'm joking. Uh, yes, we have to end our stream now soon. Uh, because apparently we're ready. Uh, are we ready, Pierre, to go into the next stream? Okay, cool. Right, fantastic. Okay, right. Uh, I'm afraid this is literally it. We've been... Uh, fun has been called. Fun is over because well, Congress is about to take part. 
Um, but also, this stream is over, and we've got the next quiz to begin. Um, no, no, don't worry. The stream is not over. You don't need to leave if you just got hit. You're actually this perfectly on time. Myself and Potato are going, and we're going to take... Well, I'm going to take part in the next stream. Um, you're not. But you'll be there. Uh, it's going to be well, a quiz. watching is participating. I suppose so. Uh, it's a quiz hosted by Dr. Simon Clark. It's based off of University Challenge, except all of the contestants are idiots. Um, so yep. it should be very entertaining to watch. So stick around, buy the bundle, see you in a few minutes' time. We're going to go for a two-minute break. And cut away! Good evening, and welcome to the Academic Bundle. <laughs> Tonight, we'll be hitting the biggest brains of the Oxcast, making them look like regularly sized brains against one another in intellectual gladiatorial combat. We are going to be very closely following the format of a show called University Challenge. If you're not from the UK, don't worry, we're going to go through the rules in just a second. All you need to know is that the show features teams of the brightest minds in Britain answering some of the most devilishly difficult questions. Tonight's show is only going to differ in two ways. Firstly, the questions won't be that devilish. And secondly, the teams. Our first team is made of a collective of streamers and YouTubers, not all of whom streamed through the night. They describe their specialist subjects as ranging from cider to tattoos to runescape. With an average age of 32, let's meet the team. Hi, Hi I'm Duncan. <laughs> 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 um, I'm from Devon, and I studied computer game design. Hello, I'm Ozzy. I'm originally from Keithley, West Yorkshire, and I studied advertising with design at the University of Northampton. <laughs> I'm Boba, and I'm from Florida, and I studied art history at generic Florida University. Hello, I am Pat Gwynn. Uh, I'm from Leicester, and I studied game design. <laughs> <laughs> Our second team is comprised of what many consider to be the old guard of the Oxcast, venerable greybeards who are responsible for much of the behind-the-scenes work of the Jingle Jam. Their interests are incredibly diverse, ranging from tabletop gaming to video gaming, and degrees ranging from chemistry to animation. With an average age of 4,106, it's being skewed by someone, I think, let's meet the team. Hello, I'm Ben, I'm from Essex, and I continue to study getting good at the School of Hard Knocks. Hello, I'm Tom, and I study kissing at your mum's house. <laughs> uh, hi everyone, I'm Lewis, I'm from Essex, I studied chemistry at the University of Manchester. Hello. <clears throat> My name is Therian Flax. I'm originally from London and I studied computing and informatics at the University of Plymouth. The rules are as follows. Starter questions are worth 10 points and are answered individually on the buzzer, so no conferring allowed. On answering a starter question correctly, your team will hear three bonus questions, which are worth five points each, and I would encourage you to confer when answering those questions. I can be interrupted when asking a starter question, but an incorrect interruption will result in a five-point penalty, and your team cannot answer the question. Instead, the opposing team will hear the entirety of the question. Penicillin, described as the first true antibiotic was discovered by which Scottish physician? Uh, oh, penicillin. No, it's, um... <laughs> According to ancient and medieval tradition, the body was composed of four elements in balance. For five points, name three of them. Uh, it's bile, blood... Um, two kinds of bile. Uh, like phlegm and like shit, but and I don't think they call it Excellent. shit. I think yeah, two but there's, there's definitely bile. bile and blood. Black bile. Oh, there's there's black and yellow. Need an answer, please. Yeah. Black bile, yellow bile, and blood. Correct. Correct. The other one you could have gone for is phlegm. <laughs> <laughs> you got them all. Phlegm too. In 2019, for the first time ever, American spending on Christmas presents exceeded which threshold? I'm looking for a dollar value. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. One trillion dollars. One trillion dollars is correct. According to some economists, the season of Christmas is a deadweight loss. This is a cost that occurs when which two economic factors are out of equilibrium? That is the end of the first round. So can we see the final scores, please? Uh, it's well... <laughs> So, at the gong, we have 190 points to Team Doctor and 15 points to the Tunnel Snakes. 
<laughs> now, um, do Team Doctor, Team Doctor, we will be seeing you in the semi-finals. Well done, Tunnel Snakes. The highest-scoring loser will go through. I will see you in the pub later. We'll meet the teams for the second round now. Our first team is comprised of the editors that have escaped from their cages in Yogg Studios. While their filmmaking knowledge is without question, let's see how they fare on questions across a range of subjects. I, for one, cannot wait to see what they're going to come out with. With an average age of the cube root of 21,600, let's meet the team. Hello, my name's Tom. I'm originally from Birmingham, and I studied film and television production at the University of the Arts, London. <laughs> Hello, I'm Craig and I'm from Bungie and I studied film and moving image production at the university in Norwich somewhere. <laughs> Hello, I'm Matthew Toffolo, I'm from Bristol and I studied film and screen at Bath Spa University. Hi, I'm Josh. Uh, I'm from London and I have a media GCSE. <laughs> <laughs> Our second team tonight is a meme dream. Trying to write a description for this team is like trying to catch mist with your hands or have sex to that one song from Reddit. Their interests are incomprehensible, something about blebs, and their goals are beyond our understanding. With an average age of syntax error, let's meet the team. Hi, I'm Harry, I'm from East Sussex, and I don't have a degree. Hi, I'm Lydia from the Netflix show Squid Games, and I like pickled eggs. Hi, I'm Ravs. I'm from Glasgow in Scotland, and I dropped out of school. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm from New England in America, and I studied English at Barnard College of Columbia University and at Cambridge University. A fortified wine made from white grapes that are grown near the city of Jerez de la Frontera in Andalusia. You know, you actually have to whisper, not just go <laughs> You are going to hear a short sequence of chemical elements. Their symbols on the periodic table will spell out a festive word. So for example, fluorine, uranium, and nitrogen spells out fun. In each case, I want the word that is spelled out. Tin, oxygen, and tungsten. Listen to that one. Brilliant. Uh, uh, Tin is a. Uh, uh, I had a pub quiz, but I've forgotten it already. Yeah, pub quiz. Uh, Go on, give me an answer. Ah. Uh, Captain answers. Uh, nominate Frost. <laughs> Perpax <Her> Legondemon. <laughs> no, it's <was> Snow. <laughs> what is the name of the car sized rover landed by NASA on Mars in 2012? It used a sky crane to lower itself to the surface. Moon car? <laughs> Moon car. <laughs> moon car. <laughs> it was not the moon car, that was the Curiosity rover. And that is 25 minutes. So, what are the final scores? We're tied. Are you tied? We get points. Uh, we, we, we should be 155 <gasps> for that. Should you be? Yeah. yeah we It'll give it a second to update, I'm hearing in my ear. So, are you on 155, is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Get yeah. fucked! Get fucked! So. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> At the gong, team. At the gong, team at least one degree with 155, and Edinburgh University with 145. That was pretty close, team. Uh, I mean, if you thought that the Roman Empire was in Europe instead, we may be in a different reality. I really hope that no one has a medical emergency today. <laughs> A fruit bread coated with powdered sugar, Stollen, is the traditional fruit cake Mitigating circumstances. in which the German country? The Spiffing Brit. Sorry, which German country? Oh, <laughs> Germany. Germany. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we have to rule that one out. Apologies, I, everyone. Everyone oh, knows Stollen's from Germany. No, I mean, from Germany. I don't think that's fair for seeing as I said <laughs> German. Oh, oh, bastard. I'm sorry, I've got to be fair. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, your bonus questions are on eras in Japanese history. Which era in Japanese history, lasting from 1868 to 1912, was marked by a restoration of imperial authority and rapid modernization? Hello. Hi, what's the answer? Um, <laughs> yes? Hello. Uh, this is quite awkward now. Um, <laughs> go if on, give me a name. If you don't know it, just guess. Seng 
Goku Reformation period? Oh no. It's the Captain I nominate, Answers. I know an okay. Hello. Uh, yes. That was the Meiji period. Oh yeah, it is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. Uh, damn it. The Showa era, lasting from 1928 to 1989, was named after the official name of the Emperor at that time. By what name is the Emperor known in English? Do you know any emperors, any yeah. Japanese emperors at all? I can't remember where Japan is. <laughs> <laughs> I sense a problem with um. this. Your bonus questions are on Chinese history. Well, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what was the name of the imperial dynasty that ruled China from 1368 to 1644, renowned for its flourishing culture, especially in ceramics? Oh, um, the Ming. The Ming dynasty is one of them. Meng. The Ming is correct. Cao <laughs> uh, Wai, Shu Han, and Eastern Wu were the initial dynastic states during which period of Chinese history, featuring individuals such as Zhang Heng and Cao Cao, lasting from 220 to 280 AD. Yeah, I mean, that's possible, isn't it? <laughs> Ancient. <laughs> uh, no, I can't accept that. And that was the Three Kingdoms uh, period. Ah, oh, oh, yes. Oh, oh, that game. And what was the name of the final dynasty in Chinese history, ending in 1912 with the Xinhai Revolution? Why did we get this round? <laughs> um, <Sure>. Lydia? <laughs> it's not Lydia, I'll tell you that one. It's not Lydia. Go on, give me an answer. Two pass. Pass. That's, uh, ancient. <laughs> That's the mod, it's the most recent one. A Christmas present of mass two kilograms has a force of four newtons applied to it. What is the resulting acceleration? I need a number and a unit. Six bananas. That's two meters per second squared. Mm. <laughs> oh. And a reindeer is initially traveling at five meters per second, but is accelerated by two meters per second for five seconds. What is its final velocity? 13 meters, 15, 15, 15 meters per second. I'll accept that, okay, 15 meters per Sorry, second. I said it wrong. I said it's 15 and he... I, we've all had a few to drink. I'll, I'll allow that one. <laughs> okay, well done. Thank you, Simon. Okay, next starter. Or Here two other nations involved. Firstly, for five, the Hundred Years' War between 1337 and 1453. France and England. France and England is correct. The Crimean War between 1853 and 1856. I want someone on both sides. Between England, well, Britain, and Russia. Britain and Russia. Correct, you also could have had the Ottomans or France. And lastly, the Silesian Wars between 1740 and 1763. Ben! <laughs> yes? Pay attention. Is, that, am I, is Ben the answer? <laughs> Who is in the Silesian Wars? Silesian Wars. Wars. Silesian, they, um, the, the Gorgonites. Gorgonites and, uh, <laughs> and the Mugorgonites. The Gorgonites and the Mugorgonites. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Close. Uh, it was Prussia and Habsburg, oh, Austria. Oh, bloody Habsburg. Close. Yeah, close. close. Very similar conflict. Another starter. Jupiter. Oh, Jupiter is correct. Love Jupiter. The seventh planet from the sun, notable for an axial tilt of nearly 98 degrees. No, no, it's, it's, it's the bomb. Say it. The bomb one. It's the bomb one. Bomb one. Uranus. <laughs> Uranus is Uranus. Nice. Good job. Okay. Good job. I knew I at least one degree. Oh, I believe King in you. George, alternatively. Okay. Oh. Which mythical creature is comprised of the body, tail, and back legs of a lion and the Doctor head? Ben! The griffin. Griffin is correct. Fucking A. <laughs> Fucking A. Good job. Well, those nerd hours have finally <laughs> paid off. Your bonus question. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Why do we get called out for nerd shit when you've had all of this chemistry nonsense? <laughs> you're you're literally winning yeah, university you challenge. <laughs> what the you're fuck? You're too busy rolling bones. <laughs> that feels right, right, your bonus questions are on other mythical creatures comprised of multiple animals. Oh, shit. And what is the name of the creature that possesses the head of a human, the body of a lion, and the tail of venomous spines or of a scorpion? Why am I seeing this? Is it manticore? Wait, does a manticore have a man face? Yeah, it does. I think of the Warhammer, Warhammer manticore, manticore that doesn't have a man I think face. it's a manticore. We think, we, we think it's a manticore. You'd be right to think that. Well done. Okay. The Warhammer one. The Another Warhammer starter question. question. <laughs> it doesn't have that. In my younger and more vulnerable years, my father gave me some advice that I've been turning over in my mind ever since. Is the opening line of which novel of 1925 by F. Scott Fitzgerald? At least one degree, Sarah! The Great Gatsby. The Great Gatsby is correct! <laughs> we saved Christmas! Okay. Okay. It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife, is the opening of which novel of 1813? 
<laughs> Don't help them, that's wrong. <laughs> He's running interference. Sense and sense of it. Which novel of 1948 opens, It was a bright, cold day in April and the clocks were striking 13? <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> that was 1984. <laughs> because the winners are sat over here. Team Doctor, you are pretty dominant throughout. That was pretty impressive. Uh, you even got one of the Latin songs right, which I was pretty impressed by. So uh, you are the winners of this fantastic trophy, which I, I can give to you. We spared no expense. It's a bit like Jurassic Park. Uh, if I come over to your team, well done. You are the Yogscast Challenge champions. <laughs> Here we go, Lewis. Oh, thank you, Simon. Thank you so much. Very well earned. I couldn't have done it without this big, this, this big brain here. It's so hot. It's like an, it's like a hob. <laughs> well, yeah. I could, I could boil some tea up here. <laughs> <laughs> and of and course, that? my best that... friends, yes. Tom and Ben. Ben and I were here too. We were here. <laughs> <laughs> he sat here as well. <laughs> These guys are on the team. I think we in the future, <laughs> we may need quiet. to separate you two. So that is the end of the Oxcast Challenge. Thank is you it? very much for That's joining in. I hope that you've enjoyed this at home. If you have enjoyed it and you haven't already, or even if you have already, please do donate at junglejam.tiltify.com. Get yourself the bundle. Congratulations to Team Doctor. Commiserations to Team At Least One Degree. Thank and you, Simon. So, <laughs>
go do the dingle dam. dam. And <laughs> okay, Jonah so to the dingle <laughs> there's also a feature that the run that the the Total War team asked me to share for you. Uh, there's a uh, so you get the base game of the Total War Saga Troy in this year's Jingle Jam, and mm -hmm. if you head over to their official Total War store, you can get fifty percent off the Ultimate Upgrade Pack using the code Yogscast50. Wow. Okay, right, what's that? You want some Canadian trivia before we start the game? Oh, sure. Okay, we'll start with an easy one. Go on then. Who is the first Prime Minister of Canada? Oh. William uh -oh. Mackenzie. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> William Mackenzie? That is incorrect. <laughs> uh, Johnny McDonald. Yep. Okay, How thank you, you know chat. That? I looked at chat. Okay. I trusted chat for a second. Who's the current who's the current? Well, that's there? Justin Trudeau. That's Trudeau. Yeah. Alright, let's move on, shall we? Are we what's doing the best a, Canadian uh, what's the best Canadian food? Well that's that's that what that, What's the most famous Canadian oh, food? Poutine. Poutine. Poutine is nuts in your mouth. Okay, let's go. Let's start the game. Oh. Let's, start the game. let's play some let's play some Troy. Why do you have to do me like that? Just like Boba. I had to get it out of the way. I'm sorry. Were you, were you holding on to the? Because we've been in a call together for almost an hour. Have you just been we have. holding yeah, that I, in? Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have. I have. I have been holding on to that. Well, some people say I need to do jokes, but I, if that they works. broke, hey, why fix them? Exactly. You, know? you can teach me more about yourself, and I can teach you about me, and we can learn about this game and. Enjoy chat and raise money for charity, and it's all gonna go super swimmingly well, isn't that right? Chat and Alex. Yes. Hello? Um. Yeah. So, thank you. Shadow is wholesome. There we go. Yeah, everyone's agreeing. Sure. Okay. Uh, why is si why is Simon saying, "Oh God"? No, ignore him. Ignore Simon. Ignore Simon. Simon's like irrelevant. 50. God, he's, yeah, he's, he's, he's like, like 50. On Twitch, okay, just ignore him. Just leave it. Just play Troy. Let's go. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> okay. Um, geez, I've, I've never heard someone talk about Simon like that. It's brutal. He's across the pond. He can't reach me. That's true. Oh, yeah. 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 No one can actually get us over here. Yeah, we're fine. No one can even stop the stream. We have the power, Shadow. People think Canadians are polite. We're just really like passive aggressive and sometimes just aggressive aggressive. <laughs> I have witnessed some aggressive Canadian and can can Me too. I uh, I worked at Tim Hortons and I worked the 5:30 a.m. shift. Oh god no. So uh, yeah, I've seen the worst of the worst. Do you know where the people from Newfoundland aka the Newfies keep their armies? This is going to be a trick question because they don't have one. In their sleeveys. I don't actually get in their sleeveys. They have to keep their their armies in their sleeveys. Oh! <laughs> That's the only war Canadian joke I have. Remember, guys, uh, guys, 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 gals, everyone, this is in the bundle. This game is in the bundle if you're excited I about this. in the collection. It's collection! <laughs> I've been a fan of the streams that I've seen you in. Have you? I mean, I've never oh. met you before, but I've watched some, some armchair admirals and things, and I was like, dang, Alex seems very nice. Thank you. I readily agreed when I was asked to, to like, bring you on board for this stream, and I was excited, and... A little bit nervous and meeting new people. I mean, I'm always pretty awkward, but it, I, I was excited. And I think this is going well. And I hope that you don't feel like I'm ignoring you or the game. And, and, and yeah. Uh, and sorry, I'm not uh, regretting it. I'm not regretting it. Because uh, it, oh, mm, did you need to, did, you, you didn't need but, to specify that. that okay. Someone in chat asked me, they pinged me and said, are you regretting it? And I said, no. I also have a reputation not sounding very genuine when I am, but I'm telling you now, I, I am being genuine, and that's true, though. Oh, that's and that true, wasn't all though. And that wasn't all a setup to, to say that. It I, wasn't. Are you sure? Wasn't. Oh. Yes. That's true, though. 
I, Please, I, can you? <laughs> um, someone asked before my favorite restaurant in Toronto was, or nice places to go in Toronto. Um, there's lots of different food here. I recommend going to a place called the Sky Dragon. Not these nuts. Don't say that. Um, it's actually a nice dim sum restaurant, and you can see the CN Tower from its sky patio, and you can see like a lot of Chinatown area, and it's just really nice, genuinely. I yeah. I liked going to Kensington Market um, when I was in Toronto. I didn't ask you, uh. um, but thank you for telling. Uh, yeah, Kensington Market's really nice, especially at Christmas. Um, the decor is lovely. It's kind of expensive, though. <laughs> This isn't what I expected from this. I... <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I saw the avatar and I thought, oh, Shadow. I bet she's really nice. Have you been to Toronto a lot? I mean, a fair amount. Mm -hmm. Um, I was last there in October. I did no. buy the ticket to their concert, though, and ah. I bought some merch, because my dad's also a fan, and I bought, like, a CD, and I got it signed by them. Yeah. Because you know there's no entrance fee. There is, during Christmas time. There is? Really? Yeah. Who's yeah. calling me an ass? What? There's an entrance fee during Christmas. You have to pay on the weekends. Seriously? Enter, oh, enter wow. Yeah. Okay, I didn't realize. Christmas, oh, it. my apologies. I, I... That's fine. Uh, don't worry about it. Sorry, eh? Thanks, eh? <laughs> that was an incorrect usage of eh, but I'll, it's, I'll let it slide. Oh, is there ever an incorrect usage for eh in Canada? Yes, mm-hmm. That's okay. Mm. <laughs> I think I'm going to have um, a breakdown like I had on with Lewis. I'm so, sorry. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> A is usually asked to ask a question. Or... Oh. That will be done. Just let it expire so you can go home. No, then I'd be leaving my partner and dog behind. I can't I can't leave Nigel. <laughs> That's when you can't leave. <laughs> what, my dog? Wait, is yeah. your... <laughs> or is your partner's name Nigel? <laughs> no, uh, no, no, she's not called Nigel. Uh, I can't leave the dog. I can't or leave the dog. <laughs> Why should you eat eat eggs benedict while standing on top of a hubcap? I don't know. Why should you eat eggs benedict? Because there's no place like Chrome for the Hollandaise. That's the worst joke that I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty bad, isn't it? I wasn't expecting something like that, no. Do you want um, to know the oldest joke that I know? Okay. Simon Honeydew. Oh. <laughs> so do you think this battle's this time? <laughs> than the last time? Oh, that was good. I wasn't expecting that. That's good. That was uh, <laughs> <laughs> That sounds really happy. Um, how hippo <laughs> it's not it's not it's not real. It's not a pit bull or a pig or something. It's for a commercial about teaching. Yeah. It's about teaching kids um, to not trust what they believe on TV by showing house hippos. But what happened was all the kids saw that on TV and then believed it to be real. So it didn't really work because <laughs> it was like, don't trust what you see on TV. And then we all did. <laughs> Ooh, a pig. Uh, how hippo, damn it. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Good. Oh no, what what is that? It looks like a heart. Oh, it's a, sp a spit. Oh no, it's a fo <laughs> Ah, it's a spit. Oh no, that's a fo Oh no, that's the train. Sorry. Oh yeah, that is basically yes, it's Lewis flying the <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'll be back in a moment. I have to say you you are a lot um uh, quick, uh, you're you're a lot quicker with the zingers than I Thank am. You. Like they're coming Thank so you. rapidly. There's yeah, so many of them. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. Uh, I'm really sorry. I don't. I know you didn't know what you signed up for. Um, 
I, I've been told it's a lot. It's a I'll, very I'll pleasant surprise. Oh, pleasant. Yeah. Thank you. I hope I'm not. Really I I love bad you. jokes. So. <laughs> Did you know that I have a list of them on my phone? Do you really? I write them down so I don't forget them because <laughs> growing growing up, people would be like, "Hey, your your family's funny. Tell me a joke," and I'd be like, "Um." Uh. So now I just write them down. I have a list of two hundred and eight. Oh. And like on my stream, people can redeem and like pick a number, and I'll just tell them. Really? Yeah. Huh. So you're welcome to pick a number if you'd like. Um, or we could just play. Nine. I just scroll all the way up. I was at the bottom. Oh. How do you think the unthinkable? With an iceberg. <laughs> Get it? It's like. It's like sink the unsinkable with an iceberg, but because I... Simon didn't. Can get I pick it. another? I number? Thought... Can I pick another yeah, number? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can pick another number. Um, forty-two. Okay. What do you call a Frenchman wearing sandals? Philippe Fulop. <laughs> <laughs> There's also two fish swimming to a concrete wall. One turns to the other and says, Damn! <laughs> Sorry, can you say that again? I wasn't I didn't quite hear that one. Two fish swim into a concrete wall. One turns to the other and says, oh, Damn. Damn. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I have a Christmas okay. one. Okay, I yes. I, I don't know if you'll get it. Okay. This <clears throat> mm -hmm. just in. Yep. Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer, dead at 53. Over Barcelona today, the famed reindeer was hit by a flock of seagulls and a Boeing 747. <laughs> Eyewitnesses report that the reindeer in Spain was hit mainly by the plane. Did anybody get that? <laughs> um, see, when, as soon as you were telling the joke, I heard 747, and my brain automatically went, oh, did you know they're actually starting to discontinue those in replacement of like other, other oh. aircraft? The 747 is actually quite an old plane now. There, there aren't too many of them left. That's it. The Queen really? of the Sky. Currently, I'm I like to I I'm in a reading phase. Oh yeah, what are you reading? Um, um, I'm reading a uh, a book about the discovering of of gravity. It's really interesting. It's impossible to put down. Oh my god, I I actually thought you were gonna. <sighs> I thought you were gonna tell me something genuine. Not another, not yeah, another, actually, not another, not I, another joke. I, I think, <laughs> I, uh, I, do you want all these to go I, over my head? <laughs> I've been, I've been Gravity. actually reading a book called um, Red Leopard, Black Wolf, which is a fantasy novel. It's pretty good. My brother found out that I was reading it and he leaned over to me and whispered, it has a lot of sex scenes in it. And I was like, okay. <laughs> That's all. Um. Very awkward. The difference between the people of Dubai and the people of Abu Dhabi is that the people of Dubai don't like the Flintstones, but the people of Abu Dhabi do. Uh, sorry, I'm so sorry. I didn't hear that joke. I didn't hear the pun. That's I, okay. I it wasn't. It, I died. Abu Dhabi do. Oh, Abu Dhabi do. Oh. The difference between the people of Dubai and Abu Dhabi is that the people in Dubai don't like the Flintstones, but the people of Abu Dhabi do. Ah, thank you. Do you get it now? Yes, I understand. Because Abu Dhabi do kind of sounds like Yabba Dabba Abba do. Abba do. Sound that they, that they yeah, make on yeah, the Flintstones. Yeah. Oh, I think the most famous person I've met was uh, Tom Baker. He was like one of the old Doctor Who's. The one with the scarf. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Four. Yes. Yeah, I met him when I was like ten. He was outside of Marks and Spencer. Wait, 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 like, hey, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Didn't you ask Boba this question? Yeah. Are you just repeating questions? Because um. I remember you saying that you met Tom Big, the one with the scarf, and I typed in chat. I said the fourth one. And now I'm having deja vu that you're. <laughs> I was there. <laughs> Did 
Do you it's... remember the other famous person I met? No, I stopped listening after that point. Oh. It was one of the Zack and Cody people. Dylan Sprouse. Oh, Dylan Sprouse! Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. And then Boba said Lewis Brindley. Yeah, I, I played a Total War game with Dylan Sprouse, actually. Total War Warhammer yeah, 2. Fun. It was in New York. He, uh, cool. he came. I've he never came, been there. He came. No, I was, sorry. That was about to sound really bad. I was about to say he came ri um, came? right in my rear end, but he, he sent his army around to the back of me and just, like, completely destroyed me. Why did you think that that, that was going to sound bad and then say it anyway? Well, but if I say I, I, I if I, if I say I, that was gonna sound bad, then at least I've recognized that I've recognized that. Yeah, and, and then you still said I, it. I know I. Uh, it's fine. Yeah, I got decimated by Dylan Sprouse. There you go. I got. <laughs> so you lost one tenth of yourself to him. <laughs> yeah, never got it back. So is, is he your, your heart cracks? Yeah. Yeah, someone clip that. <laughs> no one needs to clip the Dylan Sprouse. No, he probably doesn't even remember, remember who I am. He, he was very excited to talk to the developers of Warhammer, though. I think we've done a very good job, and we should give both of ourselves a pat on the back. I'm doing it right now. And I'm going to give myself a round of applause, and you as well. I'm clapping my hands in a circle. It's a classic round of applause. Thank you, thank you. How do you clap uh, in a circle? You, gotta, you clap and you move your hands in a oh. circle. Oh! A round of applause. You want to do something else as a last minute game? What do you want to do? I, so I can see you. So I'm going to make sure you may see if you can do this. I would like you to put your hand up and make like the OK sign. Like put your thumb to your index finger. Mm. Okay. Now I want you to poke your head through that hole. You did it! Yeah. That was really good. That's that's a little dad trick. Some people are like, my that's hole's too small. I can't poke my head through that. But now you can do that as a little party trick. That was brilliant. Okay. Thank you for streaming with me. I don't understand. Oh. What's um what's so hard about like, putting a finger through a you... hole? I don't Am I nothing. It was a pun. What did I miss this time? Nothing. What did I miss? Um, oh no. It's poking your head through the hole if people try to put their head through the hole, but you poked your head through the hole. So I did it right? Yeah, you did. Oh, okay. Yeah, I need to go eat and watch Elf. Yeah. And This and was we're... definitely the most stream of all time, so thank you very much for that. Definitely the most stream? What does that mean? Uh, we're, we're, oh, we are 500 pounds away from getting to 60,000, so we... We could do one final like. We could just we could just sit here and wait until that happens. Do you want to do it in silence or? <laughs> Shadow, you. Shadow. God. Hey. It's just, it's just awkward now. Uh... It's awkward now. Yeah, <laughs> so I don't it like never it. was before. I don't like really? it. I don't like that. I it's know, awkward it's just, now. I'm just really when it went to complete silence. <laughs> oh, I didn't even have the background music playing. Oh man, I would not get a job as a as a um stream uh TJ. Oh, we've hit the goal. We've hit the goal. Sorry, we've done it. We've done it. We can go. We've done it. We've done it. Okay. 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 Thank you, All right. Thank, thank you, everyone. Tonight. Take care. Um, See you well, tomorrow. Well, my for watching Elf. Uh, see you tomorrow. Keep raising money. Keep donating. We're going to do the rebroadcast, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Okay, bye. I love you bye. all. Bye. Bye.